What's up, people? I want to do one more quick car edition because I want to talk about how the state is liable for the actions of police officers and what causes it. Because most people don't understand that the trainers of the police officers are appointed by the governor of the state. So, in essence, the governor is the parent of the state. And whenever a state officer is violating or overstepping their fiduciary duty to you, you hold them accountable in federal court. <laughs> Excuse me, because them violating breaches their fiduciary duty. But whenever I spoke about it also being liable on their supervisors, when the supervisors allow those actions to happen or allow those actions to continue. But. Moreover, the state becomes responsible or liable for those actions through the due process clause of the Constitution. The due process clause itself, which is um, the 14th Amendment, and it makes sure that not only are your rights asserted properly and exercised with enjoyment, but it makes sure it ensures that the state respects your pursuit of happiness, which is why it was wrote into the Declaration of Independence. So understanding the liability of the state for the actions of a police officers derived from the governor appointing the trainers of the police officers. Just like they hold parents responsible for actions of their children. Same thing. Because the parent chooses who teaches the child. They choose the school. They choose, you know, the programs. So, therefore, they are liable for those child's actions until the child is old enough to understand, you know, right from wrong for the most part. And that's the exact same thing that's happening with police officers. So, the due process clause of the um, U.S. Constitution, the 14th Amendment, makes the state liable for the actions of police officers as well as I gave you the Supreme Court case Owen v. City of Independence 445 U.S. 622-1980 A municipality has no immunity from liability under Section Title 42 U.S.C. 1983 flowing from its constitutional violations and may not assert the good faith of its officers as a defense of such liabilities. Officers of the court have no immunity when violating a constitutional right from liability, and they are deemed to know the law. And again, just in case you missed one of the videos, Title 42 USC 1983 provides for federal civil liability for every person who under color of any statute, ordinance, regulation, custom, or usage of any state, subjects, or causes to be subjected any person within the United States to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured by the Constitution and laws. Because again, Howlett v. Rose stated, federal law and Supreme Court cases are the supreme law of the land so the state has no liability i mean no immunity from liability through 42 usc 1983 so due process clause of the constitution 14th amendment keep those in mind read them understand them internalize them until next time